Maize undersown crops have proven themselves for many years, partly due to the benefits of the cultivation system. Undersown crops capture nutrients, protect the soil from leaching and increase biological activity. They also contribute to humus formation and help protect against erosion. Short crop rotations are opened up and the undersown crop can be used as forage. There is also the possibility to claim for it under the Ecological Focus Areas EFA in the new greening framework. This gives the procedure new significance. Various mixes are available for different uses and sowing times. With its slow-growing grass species, Humus Plus pre-sowing can be sown immediately before or after maize. Humus Plus mixtures can be sown early using a grassland harrow. To prevent damage to the plants, the times can be loosened and the harrow fitted to go along the gap between the maize rows. The advantage here is the easy incorporation of the undersown crop, while at the same time mechanically removing weeds. With slurry seeding, the softened seed is sucked up into the slurry stream via a bypass. The hose size should be at least half an inch. With this method, you save an additional passage and the slurry offers the grass seeds good conditions to germinate in dry weather. With a pneumatic sower, the high impact can sow the undersown crop very precisely at the 6 to 8 leaf stage. Select the sowing time to take place before rain, if possible, so that the grass seeds can emerge well. In principle, there should be at least two weeks between the most recent soil herbicide treatment and the sowing of an undercrop. Consult your advisor for crop protection recommendations. The undersown crop's growth is relatively slow, so while there is maize vegetation, there is no competition between the cultures. The main development of the grass only really begins with the ripening of the maize and the increased light penetration into the crop, therefore ensuring the maize yield is not affected. The undersown crop takes up the excess nutrients and protects them from leaching. During harvest, it improves the navigability of the land even under difficult conditions. This leads to less dirt in the silo and on public roads. Subsequent mulching fights pearlid moths, encourages stubble rotting and stimulates the grass to tiller. If the undersown crop is to be used as forage, we recommend the use of fertilizer in spring for a high yielding first cut. Undersown crops are an inexpensive procedure with a multitude of benefits.